Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous, over-the-top 1961 uh, Chevy Bel Air bubble top. Uh, got the owner here, Buck's going to tell us a little bit about it. How are we doing today, Buck? I'm doing great. A little Ooh, cold, but Pretty I'm doing car, well. yeah. Freezing over here. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after uh, a couple nice days, it really feels freezing. Yeah, it's spoiled. Yeah, so sitting on US Mags, Wilwood uh, brakes all the way around. And uh, tell us a little bit about it, bud. Well, we bought the car uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay. Got a guy out of Wisconsin. Um, got the car. Uh, we added the, the white stripe, which is traditional. Yeah, it looks great. It really breaks um, up the red. We took the knockoff uh, spinners off the wheels and uh, gave it a little bit more of a masculine look. Yeah. Um, extended the exhaust to the rear of the car so you could actually have a conversation inside. <laughs> Um, tightened up a couple loose ends. Um, we added a brand new blueprint motor. Mm -hmm. Which motor is that? 350 long block. Cool. Um, detailed the car, and uh, it's my wife's car. She loves it. Uh, she's actually a first responder, and she didn't have time to enjoy it this year. Yeah, it's super busy. So we're going to be retiring and moving to South Carolina. Wow, good for you. So this car is going to have to go. LED tails there, I see. Yeah, LED lights, which is really neat. No problems with bolts uh, burning out and little shorts happening. Dual antennas. We, um, we got the headers there and attached the new two and a half inch mandrel bend exhaust to the headers and raised the headers up a little bit. Yeah. So they weren't dragging on the ground, mm -hmm. and um, they did a nice job on the exhaust. It's a full, full two and a half all the way out. Mandrel nice bed too. To Put in the uh, Dakota Digital Dash because the existing uh, speedometer mm. wanted to possess itself. <laughs> they all do. That Dakota Digital Dash is so fantastic. Oh, yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful paint, super straight body, gorgeous, uh, bright work all the way around the car. Especially impressed about the glass, because the glass is really clean. Yeah, it almost looks like brand new glass all the way around. It is windy. Inside. Beautiful interior. This almost looks like uh, Camaro buckets. Camaro center console. Which stranded do we have? R4? Uh, yeah. So overdrive training. Uh, power seats, power windows. Very clean look. I did it. Uh, tilt column. Looks like classes in classic industries gauges. Look at this dash. Sick. Retro Tech Dakota Digital. Just fantastic. You know, that really completes the resto mod look. Right. Looks killer. People when we first turned it on, really like it a lot. Vintage sound system. Yeah, the Camaro Center console really fits nicely in here. bolstering them and then you match the seats in the back I like the fact they kept the emblem in the back yeah kind of uh, brings the buckets to the rear as well and one of my favorite cars even the package tray is all stitched in leather power seats are functional not overly done too no. No, not
seven. Blueprint makes fantastic motor. Very happy with it. Complete front runner setup. Randy over at Muscle Car Garage did the swap for him. Nice big aluminum radiator with a monster electric fan. Power steering, uh, power brakes, air conditioning. Complete front runner setup. So it all runs on uh, two belts, nice and simple. Brand new uh, steering box with a billet module. Brand new power brakes. Power brake booster. Will woods all the way around. These are a SPC upper and lower tubular control arm. They have a great adjustment on them. Front and rear sway bars. Electronic ignition. Is that a 650 right there? That a brass 650? I believe so. I got that in there. Maybe we'll do another one. Headman headers. Built to drive, huh? Yeah, built to drive. Got enough get up to go to have a little fun. Sure, but not too much. And then you know the big blocks, they just run kind of hot and stuff. This is a very reliable setup. Yeah, man. No luck. There's no way to have the conversation down. We will let you time. That's it, just to get gas, is that? Uh, trunk's completely finished. Buck, can you pop the truck? Sure. US Max. Really nice fitment. It's in a great stance. Beautifully finished truck. Feel free to give us a shout. We're at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. It's uh, webeautos.com. Thanks a lot.